You know, life may have changed just a little, but these besties can always pick up where they left off. Hurry! Hey, I didn't know you were coming in today. Oh, this is a super quick in and out. Cabbage. What? Oh. Come again. Um, so, tell me, what is going on with you? Oh, you don't want to know. Uh-oh. Yeah, Zach got a promotion. My God, why? I don't know. I think they like him. Poor guy. Yeah, he's their root supervisor now. Has to wear a tie. I'm so sorry. <sighs> it's fairly devastating. I tell him he looks like a young Leonard Cohen, but he actually just looks like his dad. Reunited and it feels so good. That's from Gilmore Girls, A Year in the Life. And this morning we have cast member Keiko again joining us. Welcome home to the CW Fix 11. Thank you. It feels so warm and cozy in here. It feels it's like it's home. all the love we're sending to you. So before we get to the phenomenon that is Gilmore Girls, I have a question because I want to talk about one of the main characters who does not show up on the IMDb page but is in every single episode and gets a lot of mentions. Do you know who I'm talking about or what I'm talking about? No. Coffee. It needs, oh. it needs to be a cast member because, uh, seriously. So I figured since it's early in the morning, I'd ask you, do, are you a coffee lover and how do you take your coffee? Oh, I love coffee, Cortado mainly. But I, you know what I do now is I space it out oh. because then it hits harder. Hmm. hmm. Good to know. But we we need to start some. We need to start an IMDb page or, or add coffee to the cast list of cast members because it's not fair, you know. Because it's an, it it's be, one of the yeah. original gangsters just like you. And I mentioned that yes. it's a phenomenon because I haven't gotten so many texts in a long time from Justin, their assignment editor, Katie, one of the producers, about how they love the show, how they watch it over and over again. And you've been there since day one. Are you, yeah. are you, are, how, how does it feel though? Because not a lot of series get this and now you have a year in the life, it continues and still the hype is still there. You know what, it's so sweet because it is rare to have a show that uh, people are celebrating 20 years later. So uh, I, I feel phenomenal about it. I mean, we never thought that we would get to do the reunion show. I mean, I think this was manifested by the fans, really, to be mm -hmm. honest. Everyone kept saying, wouldn't it be nice, wouldn't it be nice, wouldn't it be nice? And then in 2016, the stars aligned and enough people uh, got on board and it happened. And then we're going to be able to see it uh Broadcast. Tonight and for the next four days on the CW. Exactly, <laughs> because the original series ran for seven, seven seasons, and then yes. we have The Year in the Life on Netflix first, and now it's having its broadcast premiere starting tonight through Thursday, right? I know, isn't that, because yep. we can't, because we cannot get enough. So, it's called A Year in the Life. I feel like fans might manifest it again, and then we're going to have the second year in the life. What are the chances? Uh, I say 76% <laughs> or 12. I'm there you not go. sure. <laughs> One, it's somewhere in there. Okay, so I was talking earlier about the AMAs and how Kenny G showed up on the AMAs and still looks the same way he looked on the cover of his 1980 whatever CD cover. You know what I mean? You also have that because you are like, I can't even, uh, forever young. Wow. And, and I heard you on a Thank podcast you. talking about how old you were when you were cast as a teenager. Yes. Does that so shock 20, people? Uh, I, I, I think probably it did at the time. I felt very grown up, but even when I look back at those pictures, I, I, I think I think I look like a baby. Uh, but you were so actually. So it was a good thing. But you were actually. I was actually twenty six. Playing seriously. So playing sixteen or fifteen. That is a blessing. Uh, hundred times. So I, I, we know ge yeah. your genetics plays a whole a huge role in it. So aside from your coffee, what else do you what else do you take to keep the forever young uh, oh, do? To keep this? Yeah. Um, I wish I had a really, really expensive uh, French brand to promote that they would send me, <laughs> but really it's Dove. So if Dove wants to <laughs> Dove brand soap wants to do anything for me, uh, that's the truth. All right. So you, you, you are just a dream. You're living every actor's dream because we, f your fans got to see you like um, Better Call Saul. And you are now playing the medical examiner on Prodigal yes. Son. A yes. New York medical examiner. So we're attached to you either way. You can't get away from us. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm happy. To, I love it here. I'm here right now. And we're filming uh, Prodigal Son season two, which is going to be um, uh, coming back in January. 
Ooh. We cannot wait. Text me and let me know where you're going to be so I can stalk you. We can have some coffee, <laughs> share, like, you know, anti-aging tips, forever young tips, because you know I will fight. But maybe Katie, our producer, might show up before I do because she... She's got the she's glasses, for sure, girl, right? So. Mm -hmm. Sweet. I love it. Well, thank you so much for having me. This Are you was a kidding? Blast. Anytime. You're, fa yes. you're, you're family. Mm -hmm. You are you're family. family. <laughs> and we'll get to check out the broadcast premiere of Gilmore Girls A Year in the Life starting tonight through Thursday. So something to be thankful for. There Happy Thanksgiving. Go. So cool. Fortnite that, event. Yeah, very buddy. nice. Gilmore Girls. There, it's back in action. I love that show. Uh,